What Orange County looks like today is very different from its early beginnings in the late 1800s. From the coastlines to the rolling mountains and all the communities that have sprung up from its rich soil, it has brought joy to residents and visitors alike and provided a home for people of all backgrounds throughout history. For nearly a century, Molten Ranch encompassed what is now Laguna Hills, Aliso Viejo, Laguna Woods, and large swaths of Laguna Niguel, Dana Point, Laguna Beach, Lake Forest, and San Juan Capistrano. We hope that utilizing art to tell its story will deepen the knowledge of our shared beginnings and serve to build a common bond in our communities. Well, Molten Ranching began in the late 1800s. I believe it was 1874 when Louis Fennel Molten first came out west. He came on a steamer ship from Boston. He started as just a shepherd working for someone else but later he was able to borrow money, buy some land on what was Rancho Niguel. So in a lot of ways, agriculture is just not going to continue right here, but we all depend on it, whether it's right here or whether it's in the easternmost part of the county or it's in another county. Every time we go to a grocery store, we're dependent on the farmers as much as they were 100 years ago. So this is really a reminder of where things were in the past, but also where things are today, even if they're a little further away. I guess it started when I first got access to the photos. I thought about it for a few days and I really thought it'd be cool to take over the entire building, you know, to make kind of like a walking tour. And then when I first start painting, the best way to get started with a big project is to use a projector. So I'd use the projector at night and just trace the outlines. So now everything's set. I know exactly what it's going to look like. And then I just have printed photo references and I just kind of hold those or tape them to the wall and I try to paint as realistically as possible. There's a number of photos in the mural that were used for the mural. One of them, for example, shows a buggy with Louis Fennel Moulton. There's another picture of Nellie Gale Moulton in front of one of their old cars with, again, the two children, Charlotte and Louise. The final photograph, which wraps around the side of the building in the mural, shows the roundup, and that's really where the whole community would get together. All of the neighboring ranches would lend their cowboys. They would all work together because no single ranch has enough people to all work at that one time. And if you weren't any good on a horse, you'd be there helping set up, running the gates, working the food, or just playing guitar. And it's all there in the mural, and it's all real, and it still happens today in ranches around the country, and even a couple left in Orange County. From the iconic Saddleback Mountains to the Molten Ranch House and dramatic roundup scene, Timothy Smith's artistic creation takes us back through history to a simpler time when the sheep and cattle outnumbered the residents of Orange County.